and elementary shapes. In previous chapter, we have looked about basic geometric concepts. In that we have discussed about line, line segment, ray, point, and so on. In that the set of points on a plane on a straight path endlessly on both the directions we call it as a line and a part of a line is called as line segment so the line segment can be measured as the line segment can be measured in using meters centimeters and millimeters so to measure line segment we have different methods by observation so we can see the line segment and compare them let's take it as AB and CD now by observation we can see these, are, these two line segments AB is greater than CD AB is greater than CD so in this form we can say which is a greater line segment and which is the smallest by the observation so this is the comparison of the line segment and also we can use the divider we can use the divider compare two line segments for example we take a divider this is called divider and we use this divider divider to measure this line of line segment and let's measure this first line segment AB and this is the length of AB and now take a scale and measure it and we get here Example, for example, this is 24 centimeters. This is 24 centimeters. So AB is 24 centimeters. And let's find out the measurement of CD. CD is let's take this point, these two end points of the divider, or the points of C and D. So this is the length of this is the length of CD. So let's use a scale ruler to measure this length of line segment CD. So when we measure this, so we can here this form 0 to 15. So this is 15 centimeters. So second line segment CD is 15 centimeters. So when we observe this two first one is AB 24 centimeters and second one is CD 15 centimeters so by using the divider and ruler we have measured the length of line segments so we got AB is greater than CD so this is a using divider we can compare two line segments by tracing next method is by tracing Let's draw a line segment AB 24 centimeters. AB is we don't know, for example, we have taken AB and then let's draw the second line segment CD on the same line segment. And we get and it will be stopped in between. So what we understood, some of the part of line segment, what we have drawn first is left out. So what we understood is the, what we have drawn the first line segment that is greater than the second line segment, just what we have drawn now. So this is by tracing, we can understand A B is greater than C D. 
So is, these are the measurements, these are the comparison of line segments and different methods by observation. Just we look at the line segments and uh, say which is the meter and using divider, we have discussed just earlier, say divider and by tracing, just we draw the line segment on the same line segment, we need to draw the second line segment. If we cross that line segment, first line segment, then second line segment is greater than the first one. If we did not cross and stop in between, then the second line segment is less than the first line segment. So this is the method of tracing. So let's go to the next concept, measure of line segment. And we have different methods to find out the measurement of line segment. And the uh, first method is using scale. We draw any one of the line segment. Let's take it. Name is S A Q. Q is the line segment. And now let's take a scale and try to measure this. And we got 30 centimeters. So we can observe that. So 0 to 30, 30 centimeters we have. So this is PQ is 30 centimeters. So length of the line segment PQ is equals to 30 centimeters before. So in this way we can measure the line segment. This is the measurement of line segment using scale. Understanding understanding elementary shapes. Understanding elementary shapes. Let's discuss about pair of lines. Pair of lines. We have two lines. Either the two lines are intersecting or parallel or perpendicular or skew lines. So the two lines in a plane which are having one common point, we call them intersecting and they meet at one of the point and we observe these two lines L and M. L and M are meeting at one of the common point O. Two lines are meeting at one common point. Then so we call them intersecting lines. Parallel lines. Two lines in a plane which do not intersect, and the distance between the lines is always seen. We call them parallel lines. L is parallel to M. You already observed that. The two lines do not intersect. These two lines are not intersecting and the distance between them is always same. So we call these lines are parallel skew lines. Let's recall here. Here the lines are intersecting. Here the lines are parallel. So these are not intersecting. Intersecting and parallel. So here the two lines which are not intersecting are not parallel that means neither either intersecting or parallel so we call those uh, lines are skew lines so the two lines are, are in different planes so that will be Draw a line one of the plane. We draw another line in a different plane. These two lines do not intersect and they are not parallel. So they are not intersecting, they are not parallel, and those lines are called as skew lines. Two lines in two different planes neither intersect or not parallel are called as skew lines in this form this is a plane 
and here along the line is present L. L is a line. Your N is a N is another line. So they are in two different planes. They are not intersecting and also not parallel. So this kind of lines are called as two lines. Let's go to the perpendicular lines. Two lines are intersecting at right angles. We call them perpendicular lines. The angle between them is 90 degrees. Two lines are intersecting at 90 degrees. We call them perpendicular lines. So these are the pair of lines we have discussed. First one is intersecting lines. Two lines are meeting at one point. We call them intersecting lines. They have a common point here. Who is a common point? Parallel lines. The two lines are not intersecting and uh, the distance between them is same, we call them parallel lines and two lines in two different planes and neither intersect or not parallel we call them skew lines perpendicular lines two lines are meeting at 90 degrees that means they are intersecting at right angles we call them perpendicular lines so these are both pair of lines let's go to the next concept Concurrent lines. Two or more lines meeting at one common point. Two or more than two lines are meeting at a common point. Meeting at a point. We call them concurrent lines. These are concurrent lines because more than two lines are intersecting at common one of the point. We call them concurrent lines. Here we need at least two lines or more than two lines, we call them concurrent lines. 